So I've had a lot of people ask me for a studio tour and have a quick look at my collection. So I thought instead of doing a short video, I might do a longer video on YouTube and we can have a bit of a look at my collection. So you might not believe it, but I actually only started collecting Hot Wheels about eight months ago. And it was after I set up a track for my young two-year-old son and seeing the enjoyment that he got out of it. And I've always had a bit of a passion for making videos. So I thought, you know, why don't I start making a few videos Eight months later, here we are. Let's take a quick look at my collection and my setup and tell me what you think. If you've watched any of my videos in the past, you can tell that I'm a huge Fast and the Furious fan and those are my favorite to collect and those are my favorite videos to make as well. But today, let's have a bit of a look around, check out my setup and my collection, and yeah, tell me what you guys think. So we'll start over here, slowly move around, check out all the cars, and then we'll have a bit of a look at the track setup and the diorama that I've got going on. So I'm not too fussed about collecting every single premium Hot Wheels that's been released, there's just too many, so I really only pick up the ones that I really like. But generally my main focus has been on the mainline Hot Wheels as they're a lot better for racing with the plastic wheels and for my videos and recreations. So in this cabinet is some of my favorite Fast and the Furious cars. For the Australian car lovers, we have the XB Falcon and the VESS Ute. So the Toyota Supra you can see here, that is a custom. I did recently make that. So if you want to check out the video, that is on YouTube Shorts as well. So here you can see one of the latest Fast and the Furious sets that I've recently picked up. Uh, these will be great for some future videos and some future recreations of a few Fast and the Furious scenes. And a little sneak peek at a RC Hot Wheels car that I've recently picked up from Play Robotics. So you'll see that in a few videos coming up as well. So in the top two drawers, I've got some of my favorite mainline Hot Wheels. And in this drawer, just some premiums. Parked up here, a whole heap of loose Hot Wheels that I need to organise and find a home for. And on the wall, just a variety of mainline Hot Wheels, pretty much just for display. And we'll have a closer look at some of my favourites. As you can see, the Fast and the Furious, the Supra, the Veilside RX-7, Jesse's Volkswagen, the Mona Lisa, the R34, and some of my favourite main lines, which there's quite a few Fast and the Furious ones there as well. And back in the drawer, we've got a Ferrari 250 GTO, that's one of my favourites, and the Ferrari F40. And again, for the Aussie watchers, we can't forget the HQ Monaro, an iconic car here in Australia. I've got quite a few premiums packed away, but I'll just have a look over a few that I've taken out. So I've got quite a few mainline Hot Wheels still in tubs. I need to go through those and organize them. Quite a few doubles and find somewhere to hang them up on the wall. So now moving on to the track and diorama, I've got the six lane super speedway, which I've only got four lanes open at the moment, but yes, a four lane drag strip. So moving on to my main racetrack, I've got the Play Robotics electric remote start gate. I also get asked a lot where I get these clear display cases from and they are from diecaststorage.com if you're looking for any. 
So the Play Robotics Start Gate, you can start it with the button or you can use the remote control as well. And through the finish gate it does give you a track time as well. So I've got my police fleet, I use those in a few videos, police chases and different recreations. I've got the McDonald's with a drive through So all these buildings here are made by G-Fans, so you can buy those off eBay, just type in G-Fans and the building that you want. The Apple Store, Japanese Toy Store. Another question that I do get asked a lot is what kind of track I use, and it is the Crash Racers set made by Far Out Toys. So originally when I recreated this track for my old track, I didn't include Thomas and there was a bit of an outcry from a lot of fans so I thought I'd better put Thomas back on the track but don't be fooled by that cheesy smile, Thomas is known as a bit of a destroyer on our track and he has taken out a lot of Hot Wheels cars. We have the Starbucks G-Fans diorama and the Porsche dealership G-Fans diorama. So this one here, the Shell service station, is actually made by Tiny City and it's a very cool addition to the track. So if you're looking for that one, Tiny City Shell service station on eBay as well. And of course, the Fast and the Furious house. So I found this one on Etsy. It's a custom 3D printed one, but it's actually quite hard to get hold of because the guy that makes them doesn't make a lot and it came from France as well, so a bit hard to get a hold of and track down. So the diorama is still a work in progress so still quite a bit of work to get it to where I want to but so this setup is all in the shed out the back of my house so I do think that gym over there is probably going to get relocated and we'll put Hot Wheels all on that side as well and possibly a new track but plenty of time for that. So thanks for having a look at my setup and collection if there's anything else you want to see in more depth, just write it in the comments and I'll look at making a video later on. So like I said, I've only been doing this for about eight months now and I'd hate to think what this place will look like in another year or two. So make sure you go and check out my shorter videos as that's where my passion is. So either TikTok, Instagram or just here on YouTube Shorts. And thanks for watching guys. Cheers.